guys, what's going on? And welcome back to our Let's Play episode. Again, I want to formally invite every single one of you to my 24 hour live stream celebrating a thousand subscribers. Thank you guys so much for that. Uh, that will be happening this Saturday, November 4th, uh, starting around 8 a.m. So I hope to see you guys all there. But without further ado, let's hop right into the Let's Play. So as you can see, we have two builders available here. And yes, I am not using the event troops any longer. It does have two days left over in the event, but I'm tired of it, all right? So the new army that I am using is, uh, I'm, I'm queen walking. I'm queen walking for the first time ever at Town Hall 9. So I'm gonna walk you through how I basically do that. It's gonna be a little bit difficult. As you can see, my uh, queen is only level 15 and my king is level five, uh, or not level five, level 10. But hopefully I can show you guys how to execute it. Um, and you guys can use it with your higher level heroes or if you're at the same level heroes as me. Uh, but without further ado, let's just go right into it. Uh, I'd also like to note my baby dragons aren't max, wizards aren't max. Uh, so the army isn't quite there yet. As we can see, I am upgrading the baby drags over here in the corner. Overall though, base has been making some pretty solid progress. We're upgrading both the expos. We are also, what else are we upgrading on the base? Uh, obviously upgrading the baby dragons that I just showed. Uh, well, you have this handy little thing up here. Upgrading the dark barracks as well. Uh, recently we uh, upgraded the dark spell factory. So we did unlock, what did we unlock? Um, let's go brew. Yep, we unlocked the skeleton spell. Very niche usage, but we could use it in the future. Uh, but let's just go right in. I, I know I'm dilly dallying. You're like, Let's figure out a queen walk, Jacob. All right, I'll show you. So this is this is a good example. It's a Town Hall 9. It's not super leveled, but basically my... Actually, I lied. It's not a good target because basically what I was saying is the main things you are trying to target are the enemy heroes. The enemy heroes will destroy your hog riders uh, because we're not using miners yet, like we will unlock at Town Hall 10. Uh, you need some way to uh, destroy the destroy the heroes, and, and that will be traditionally with your heroes. So I'm just going to find the first base that has both a king and queen. Hopefully here in a, in a, how about right now? This works with me. It's a fairly leveled base. If I had to choose between targeting the king or queen, I feel like I'm always going to go for the queen, right guys? It's just, uh, she's just a little bit more powerful. So basically the way I like to start is we're going to funnel with a baby dragon on one side, we're gonna uh, funnel with a baby dragon on the other side as well. Then we are going to place down our queen. We're gonna place down one Coco Loon, and then we're gonna place down all of, uh, well, our queen and our healers. We're gonna wall break uh, her in right here, and we do have two poison. At, we're gonna use one poison for one of the heroes, and then the next poison will be for the clan castle or the, the following hero. So, as we can see, this queen is struggling. Uh, basically, the only reason she's struggling is she is level 15, right? So, we want to save this rage. We only have one rage in the army. We want to save it until she gets a little bit deeper in the base. We need her to start uh, soaking up some more of this damage. Hopefully, maybe an expo or two. Then we will rage her up. And time is kind of an issue with these hog riders. So, we have to be patient, but not too patient, if that makes any sense. So, we need her to walk up here. I am going to start the raid at two minutes. I'm going to throw the rage kind of a little bit further up just to speed her up. Now I'm going to start the 18 hog riders that I do have right over here. We're going to start the enemy king on the flank just to start cleaning up. And we have all these heal spells, so we need to use them, right? We need to place down the wizards to start cleaning up as well. And just wherever your uh, hog riders are walking, heal them up. Also, let's throw down that poison uh, ability on top of that fellow uh, that king and then let's just where, where our hog is going that's where we're placing the heal spells i place in the clan castle uh troops where uh basically to draw our uh hog riders back into the center of the base so we can see queen is still alive king is unfortunately still chasing around and th that is the one problem if you can take out both heroes that is perfect a lot of times you're not able to though so that's why i said time can kind of be an issue but hopefully if we destroy all of these defenses uh finally the king walks away from us our hog riders will eventually target that enemy king this won't also be a problem once our king and queen are higher levels because then well we can walk through the base just that little bit faster but it looks like we just 
uh, made it with our hog riders. And granted, guys, the attack strategy still needs to be upgraded. The queen never died. That's the most important thing. That basically shows that this will work from here on out. We executed everything perfectly. Obviously, the hog riders um, maybe could have placed the heal spells a little bit better. But at the end of the day, uh, the main focus of this army is, well, the hero portion of it. And if our heroes are level 15 and 10, obviously they're not going to do too much damage. So if we time fail, it's not that big of a deal, right? You guys hopefully have higher level heroes. And that is another uh, core reason why you guys need to upgrade your heroes. Because you can do fun attack strategies like this. Uh, and then hopefully three star and not time fail. Uh, no time fails today though. That is a perfect three star. Let's go guys. All right, we do have quite a bit of loot. Let's go in and train the next army right away. Uh, let's pop a training potion as well because, hey, no one wants to wait 23 minutes, right? So we're popping that right away. Let's go check out the research lab as well right here just to kind of see what else we do need to upgrade in here. So uh, we are using balloons in the army. We are using uh, wizards in the army. Uh, we uh, also are using a poison so as you can see we have quite a bit of things to upgrade most important thing upgrade is our hog riders so uh, they are max level unfortunately at this time being uh, but for now we are just going to wait a little bit longer obviously because we have 19 hours until the baby dragon is complete but with these two builders i think one of them well we want to keep upgrading those heroes right so we're going to end the video by upgrading one of our heroes but what do we use, uh, uh, our, what do our heroes cost, uh, I'm trying to say. Our heroes cost Dark Elixir. How do we get Dark Elixir? Well, you either get massive raids like that last one, or if you're doing multiple accounts, you want to farm it passively, and you're going to do so through the Dark Elixir drill. Uh, it is an Elixir upgrade. We're going to bang that out right now. Next, I want to do some walls while they are cheaper. Why, why are they cheaper? Well, they're still cheaper because of this mashup madness event where we did get that 10% boost. As a free-to-play, we're not going to get that, uh, well, anywhere else. So this whole wall that's going to cost 2.5 million, completely fine with that. Nice. That is another chunk of walls we will not have to worry about. Uh, can we do this wall chunk? Nope. A little bit out of our price range. I don't really know why I thought I was going to be able to do that. I'm sure we can do this one, though. Oh, I was like, why can't we do that one? It's because of this one single wall, guys. For some reason, we have one wood wall. Let's let's upgrade this puppy right now. All right, now we can use Elixir. Yeah, now we can pop it out. Nice. All right, the base is looking a, a lot more menacing. Town Hall 9 is the first town hall where you have to go up two uh, wall levels. And is it actually the only town hall where you have to go up two wall levels? Uh, if so, that's kind of weird that they did that. But everyone has to go through it. They're actually not that expensive anymore. We do have some treasury loot in here. That'll help us uh, get that final upgrade. I said I wanted to do a queen upgrade, but I have no dark elixir. Or do I? I do have a dark rune right here. Wasting 9,000 dark elixir is annoying, but we do have 190,000 storage. And this is all maxed up. So I think this is actually... Uh, there's no better time to use this. But just for the video, guys, I am... Go, I want to use the Archer Queen, right? One more time. Show off the attack one more time. So what I'm going to do, actually, close your eyes. Everyone close your eyes. This is a free-to-play account, and we are wasting 18 gems. Yep. All right. No one saw that. I cut all that out. Uh, let's go in on the next raid real quick. And, yeah, show off the Queen Walk one more time. Then we'll pop the Queen ability or uh, upgrade, and we'll call it a day. Um, so what are we looking at here? Uh, well, we're looking at trouble. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, 32 trophies. Heroes are in the center of the base. All right, here's what I'm doing. So I, I said I normally like uh, attacking the queen first, but instead this time I am going to attack this bomb tower, target this wizard tower, and hopefully draw and take out this king as well. I think that'll be some pretty decent value for our queen. So we're going to place our one baby dragon there, one baby dragon there. This baby dragon should walk to the left. This baby dragon should walk to the right. Uh, this is all working just fine. Yep. So we are going to place our queen in now again with a cocoa loon and let's make sure to place down those healers quickly because again, uh, she is low level. So we are going to wall break on this right side as we really just want her to destroy that bomb tower and then walk into that king. We're going to place one more cocoa loon. We are going to place our less powerful, uh, poison on top of this enemy king in three, two, one when he walks up okay he did not walk up to my surprise 
Still didn't walk up. Kind of crazy. All right, now he's going to walk up. Let's you pop it right now. Are we going to have to use a rage? Let's hover over it just in case we are. Uh, I think it looks like we're going to be fine. Now we can start placing down some wall breakers. And let's take out this side over here. We are going to place the enemy king right here. Not the enemy king. I don't know why I always say that. Let's heal. And then we're going to place some wizards uh, down behind to support. Okay, my worst nightmare is happening. They have a uh, clan castle, but not just any clan castle. Balloons for hog riders. Luckily, look, our queen is still up. So we should be able to take them out. I am going to rage up uh, my queen right there. We're going to heal through the core here. Oh my. Uh, they died to the balloons. So uh, lesson learned. If your queen is level, <laughs> what is it, level 15, uh, maybe pop the ability just a little bit sooner. Uh, that would that would be uh, that would be ideal, right? So looks like uh, this is going to be a fail pretty much just because the queen went down. Because everything else, every other defense is pretty much down at this point. Again, it's tough out here when you don't have high level heroes. And our little PSA, go upgrade your heroes and also probably test for clan castle, right? Uh, that's definitely something I should have done. I have these four archers for a reason. Place down one of those archers, Jacob. Um, that's a one star. You know, we're not caught in it. It's a fail. You guys should see that. We fail all the time. Uh, we don't really care that much about loot. Well, what am I saying? We care about loot, but it's whatever. You know, it's going to be like 5k. Uh, let's go in here. Upgrade that queen. Uh, well, first, I guess we have to pop that dark rune. But then let's upgrade that queen because if she's dying to a couple balloons through a raged ability and through her ability... We're in trouble, right? We need to get her up pronto. So I am going to be upgrading her right there. Only 28,000. We have 161,000 Dark Elixir left over. Uh, so what I'll probably do is once these upgrades finish up, which they're going to finish up pretty soon uh, because, well, I thought they are going to finish up soon. I thought I had some little uh, builder potions in here. Should I buy this one builder potion? Probably not, right? I should probably save up for some of these hammers. I guess we'll save up. We don't have any builder potions, but... Yeah, I think uh, that was kind of a shorter video, but that's basically what I'm doing on the Let's Play now. Uh, if you want to join me for the 24-hour live stream, as I've mentioned, I think we will be trying to push this account as high as possible. Um, we're going to have 24 hours to play, right? So we, we're going to stock up on training potions, and we're going to give it our best. So we are in Silver 1 right now, uh, as of 10.31. Hopefully by... Uh, uh, 11 5 11 uh, 6 the next day after the stream maybe this uh, town hall 9 will be in masters league champions league titans league hey could it be in legends league that might be a stretch but uh it'd be a challenge for sure and it would be something to do so uh, i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope you have had a great day thank you again for a thousand subscribers you're awesome see you next time goodbye